Hello YouTube, I am that one guy with the awesome hat, and as I said before in the Lord of the Rings thing, we were going to talk about the Hobbit 3 movies in one part, and I just remembered this because I just literally remembered it right now. So we are going to talk about the Hobbit, all three parts, one section of the video, I mean one video, whatever, blah, go. Hobbit part one. Didn't stretch out too long, so it gave me hope for the rest of the Hobbit series. Still don't remember too much of it. Remember they were on the tree. And I remember that scene being really, really, really more epic in the book. And that's saying something, especially because it was, like, way shorter in the book. Considering it was only, like, maybe a few pages. But I guess it had a, it had a whole chapter. It was, like, out of the frying pan and into the oven. You know, that was, I think, the chapter of the book. And it was a very good scene in the book. Not as good as scene in the movie. Part two, we get the introduction of Smaug. This is by far the best part of the Hobbit movies. Which surprisingly did not do the best. The desolation of Smaug. And we get that end scene where he's like, I am fire. I am death. It was a ridiculously amazing way to end it. But you know what? I feel like Hobbit didn't have enough to make it a three-part thing. And Smaug was awesome enough. Just the only reason I pretty much wanted a Hobbit movies was for Smaug. Because, oh, we didn't get to see a dragon in Lord of the Rings. We saw like the Nazgul, but we didn't see anything like a dragon that's ridiculously epically covered in gold. That's one thing that kind of bugged me, is he was not covered in the gold, he was just had a chip in his scale, which was a little bit lame. Part 3. One thing I liked about Part 3 was that it actually showed what the black arrows look like, because I had no idea. I'm like, how the heck is he just shooting a bow and arrow into him? A giant, like, rod thing makes way more sense of how he's going to, like, kill him. But... Either way, part three didn't have enough sustenance to, like, make it through. I watched it, you know, pretty soon after it came out, and surprisingly, I actually got bored in a Lord of the Rings movie. Never, ever happened to me, except when I watched the extended version of The Fellowship of the Rings, which is, like, six hours long. Never watched the extended version. It was legitimately five hours plus, and I fell asleep because it was that long. So... The part three didn't have enough sub sub substance to actually make it a full movie, so I feel like it should have just been two parts of a decently long movie. And especially in part two, we didn't even get like the whole Bjorn funny thing where Gandalf's introducing the Hup the dwarves, and then he's like, "Wait, you're changing your story." No, oh, I'm not. Oh yeah, there's another dwarf here, and that was funny. And they cut that from the the movie, and that was sad. And part three wasn't big enough. It wasn't, there was just too much on the battle that was like five seconds because Bilbo was knocked out literally like one second into the battle. So thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think about The Hobbit and goodbye YouTube.